when uh, the COVID challenge came before us, globally supply chains were shutting down. Globally, there was a huge friction with regards to supplies that were already available to combat COVID. And at that time, when we were, as a nation, never in a position to produce PPE suits, mm. we came together, uh, the industry and government alike, we created machinery and we regenerated raw material so that we could make PPE suits. Now, I still remember that in the month of March when there was a lockdown, uh, companies and government came together. There were zero companies for PPE suits manufacturing yeah. in our country. In the next three months, which is by May, we had 1,100 companies. By June, we became the second largest exporters in the world. But what has been unsaid till now is that 80% of the workforce that turned up to make that PPE suit during the pandemic, that too during the first cycle when everybody was wishing it away and not stepping out of their homes, 80% of the workforce was female. Yeah. So when the going got tough, the tough got <laughs> the, the going. Women, the women yeah. got going. <laughs> the women got going. And if I look at the COVID experience again, Six million frontline workers are women. So you had 2.5 million Anganwadi workers yeah. and Asha workers who went door to door taking supplies, pharmaceutical supplies, testing kits. They went to every family in need mm. and they helped provide medical services to them. These six million women who are the frontline workers, they went out when there was genuinely death staring at them in the face. Yeah. So we've ma made a domestic and international case with regards to what women can deliver, not only on financial instruments, not only on financial opportunities, but especially when there is a challenge at hand. And I think that uh, it is for the first time in the history of the World Economic Forum that the World Economic Forum came to the India stage to say, can we be your network partner? <laughs> so it's only the Indian woman who could drag the World Economic Forum to an Indian stage and make them commit. What is fascinating also is that we worked on this alliance for a mere 72 hours. Yeah. The perception about our country today, not only about our strength as a nation, but also people, our talent pool, our capacity to deliver on promises, is such that in 72 hours, domestically and internationally, we had a commitment from 10,000 companies, yeah. which is unheard of. So what we managed to create, yes, is an alliance, not for ourselves, but for global good. And I think it's a reflection of what India promised in its G20 presidency. Mm. When the Prime Minister says we are one world and one future, well, if the future is female, it's definitely forward <laughs> and it's definitely a future that comes together to create alliances for global good and not only for women. So I think even the wordings of the alliance is very reflective of what women are capable of, especially in India. That when we came together, we came together not only for each other, but we came together for everybody in the world. For more news and updates, all you need to do is follow CNBC TV 18 on all of our digital platforms.